everyone welcome back to rts and welcome back to a 15 minute mixer yes that's what we're going to do a 15 minute mixer and so what am i working on i absolutely have a couple of these trays that i have a project in progress that i'm working on and so i need to get a little bit of order to this project because honestly i've just been throwing things in <laughs> and throwing things in and I need to address it, especially this pile of ephemera that I made. Okay, so let's get this stopwatch and let's get this party started. Yes, so here we go, 15 minutes. How much can we get done? I honestly do not think I'll get this done in 15 minutes, but that's not the objective. The objective for me is to get started. <laughs> the kick in the butts, yes. And so I wanted to ask, these 15 minute mixers, uh, a lot of people seem to like them. So if this is something you wanna see go forth in 2019, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll intermingle them in every so often, or maybe when it comes to, you know, last year we did a summer space shape up. I don't know if we're gonna do that in 2019, but maybe we could do mixers with a summer space shape up. Hmm, who knows what we could get into? Always open for suggestions, so just let me know uh, if you like these 15 minute mixers and you wanna see them continue, because we have a lot coming up. And speaking of a lot coming up right out of the gate in the beginning of the year, <laughs> we have some things going to start. So uh, ladies, get your game face on. Yes, we are going to get our scrap on. We are going to do a lot of things because I, the more I get involved with things, the more I get done, the more I get done, the more I want to do. Uh, yeah, it's just a continuous cycle. Yes, and so I'm just cleaning all the stuff out, putting it in piles of, you know, category categorizing it somewhat because i have a huge mess it's just nothing else but a mess and honestly this is probably why i haven't worked on any of these pages is because this has been a mess and i just didn't want to address it and so that's my motto if it's a mess i don't want to address and so i have to get out of that so uh what was i saying i have some notes here that i thought we could talk about projects because i'm working on cleaning up a project and so what i wanted to say was uh, I got asked recently, how do I stay motivated when I'm working on so many projects? Because you can see on the channel that I do a lot of different projects and I'm doing them all the time. And then there's some projects I'm working on that you don't even see. So basically, how do I get from burning out or how do I choose what to work on? And so the short answer to that question, and I'm just putting these by color because that's how I need them. Okay, and there is a pile. A pile of these but we'll be talking about this coming up <laughs> very very shortly uh is basically oh my lord <laughs> i have such a uh, rabbit hole syndrome today yeah just all over the place i don't know what that's about probably because i got 10 things going on but i love playing with my scrap supplies <laughs> yes it's like a calming effect <laughs> yes and that's what it is. Okay, what was I saying? Oh my word. Yes, how do I know or how do I go from project to project? What is my order of things? And so basically in a nutshell, I work on things in three. And that is just my favorite number, of course. But then it also for uh, my brain, which my attention span is the size of a gnat. I kid you not, three seems to work on me. So like I'll do three beach layouts and then maybe three Disney layouts and then maybe three month in review layouts and then other things, you know, like what I have going on in the channel, things like that. So that's what I do. So because there's some things that I'll do uh, in my scrapbooking that I, you know, I don't show on here because of personal reasons. And so, yeah, I'm just always doing something. And so... Um, also to keeping track of my projects in a notebook is big for me. It's actually huge. And I'm actually getting ready to work on my notebook for 2019 for my scrapbooking uh, life. And yes, I have a notebook. I don't do a planner for my scrappy life, but I do use a notebook because there's no way I can keep all of this stuff in my head. And then of course, adding all the things I need to do for the channel, I just can't. I just can't keep it in my head. And so I have now, uh, the last few years, I've used a notebook to keep track of, actually it's been several years that I use a notebook. It's just my notebook has gotten bigger <laughs> in the last couple years. I keep track of a lot of scrappy stuff. And I will show you how I'm setting up my notebook for 2019. So keep an eye open for that. And I'm just putting these in color groups because that's how I'm going to need them for when I work on some of these pages. And how did this mess come about? Because I did this project 
and it's what I call batch scrapbooking, okay? And we'll talk about that coming up because I had some interest in that. People wanted to see, yes, what do you mean by batch scrapbooking? And it's basically planning a bunch of scrapbook layouts all at one time. And so you go through a different uh, series of steps. And so I definitely will do that, okay? So I feel like I'm all over the map today. I've started this three times, why? Because I've went down <laughs> four rabbit holes and I sat here, I think for five minutes, and just talked and I was like nobody wants to hear this see already five minutes has went by <laughs> okay so yes let me know if you want to see 15 minute mixers continue uh yes we'll be talking about batch scrapbooking and back to how do you keep all of these projects because you know we have a ton of projects going on at one time because I simply could not work on one album until it's done. I couldn't just work on a Disney trip until it's done. It would take me years to do one Disney album. I just don't have, like I said, my attention span isn't that great. No. And so I have to just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then the other question I, I got is that, you know, Am I a highly motivated person or a high energy person or how do I get so much done? And frankly, yes, it's my notebook. My notebook keeps me in check of what I need to do. So again, I'll be sharing that coming up, how I set mine up, because I'm probably going to do five categories and I'm just working on that, but I'll be sharing that. And then, and I'm sorry, all I'm doing is sitting here putting this stuff in colors. But you're not watching me anyway. You're doing something yourself. Because I'm going to bag these up. Because then I'm going to have to put this in a kit type thing. Because it cannot sit in these trays. Why? Because you can see anything that stays in an open container like this. Whether you're working on it for a month or three months. It's going to get dusty. And that does not work well for me. Because it seems like my room, my scrap room, is the dustiest room in my entire home including my garage and I don't understand that I've asked my husband about that and he said well maybe it's because your uh, scrap room is above the garage no I don't think that has anything to do with it because it's not like I'm peddling all over the place all the time I don't I don't think that's it I think it's because of the amount of paper and within paper is the, is the fibers and I think that's what it is because I'm in this space all the time moving things about and I think that's what it is I think it's just because it's paper it's fibers and I'm just shuffling things well you can see right here I'm always shuffling things back and forth I think that's what it is truly I think that's what does anybody else find that their scrap space gets dustier quicker than any other space I mean I literally can dust in the morning here and then when I come back like in the evening I can still see it's almost like it's not that I didn't you can't tell I didn't dust it's just it has a layer of something again. <laughs> I just find that amazing. No other room in my house is like that. Nothing. I mean, I can dust in a couple days. Yeah, then it might need dusted again. But in my scrap room, no. It doesn't even last a day. Yes, someone tell me they find the same thing. Okay. So, I had some list of notes here. And I hope my timer didn't stop. No, we have seven and a half minutes. Yes. So how many projects do you go, go have going on at one time? And then also, how do you keep track of that? Do you keep a running list on your phone? Do you keep a running list of projects you need to do? Um, and not and you'll see in my notebook, not only do I have long-term plans, but then also, too, I break it down into month plans. Uh, yes, because I have to stay focused on the month. Because uh, if I just say, oh, well, work on work on your month review pages well psh, no <laughs> now and we'll be talking about monthly review coming up it's just that it's it's a big topic because a monthly review is a big part of my scrappy life it's probably the biggest part of my scrappy life I've been doing them 12 getting ready to start our 13th year and so I didn't want to just skim over but yet I don't have time to put a lot of uh, you know to, to sit down and, and talk a lot about that so I was talking to one of my subscribers about um, how I could do that and I think what I'll do is I'll just show an overview of one of my month in review albums or some pages I don't think I can show a whole album and the problem I run into with that is because my month in review has a lot a lot of personal info and some things you just don't want floating around so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that so I think what I'll do is I'll just share what month review is uh, in an album or some pages something like that and then maybe after spring maybe we can do a month in review series because you know I'll have one to be working on myself so maybe we could just all do it together or just see what my process is for that yeah, that's what we'll do. I think so. I just got to get it planned. Yes. And of course, I have some trips coming up. So there will be a lap uh, in time for some for some content. But 
we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, uh, yes, <laughs> I have all these notes. I <laughs> haven't addressed them. Oh, well, maybe we'll have another mixer coming up. Yes. And like I said, I'll probably just disperse these mixers here and there in between all the other stuff because, man, I am so excited about some things coming up. And now we have to say that for 2019 here on the channel, there are two big projects coming up that will last all year. And then, of course, I have some other series that is going to be intermingled in throughout the year here and there, but they won't be long things. We have two things coming up that will go the entire year. So I'm excited about that. Yes, absolutely. So, okay, what's the next thing? Do you have any project that you're still working on and it feels like it's taking forever? <laughs> okay. And I would have to say my Disney trips. And then I told myself one day, uh, yes, Disney is a big thing. And even if you just went to Disney one time, it's going to just take, it's just going to take a while. It's just going to take a while. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to think about my album as a whole. I'm just going to focus on Disney pages. I'm not going to focus on Disney trips, if that makes sense. I'm just going to focus on Disney pages because if I think about, well, I don't have that entire trip done. I don't have that entire trip done. I'm never going to have them done. I just, I gave that up. It's not going to happen. So what is your big project that seems like it's taking forever? Okay. And then I would have to say, yeah, I would have to say Disney. Yeah. It's just something I've had to come to terms with in the last couple of years. And then of course, photo printing, but oh yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that in another video coming up because photo series, our photo series is coming up. Okay. And so I think a uh, photo series, I, that might only be maybe six months or so, but it is coming up. Yes, it is. And I am nearing this pile. And can you tell that this album consisted of four colors, okay? And this is entirely about Myrtle Beach. And so it is blue and red and turquoise and orange. And yes, that's what I did. I uh, had four trips in one year uh, to a Myrtle Turtle. And so I separated them in my album by the color of embellishments I used. And of course, I'll try to show that coming up. If there's not too much personal stuff, it all depends. Okay, so yes, please tell us what is... The album or the project, not just an album, but the project that's taking forever, <laughs> forever, forever. <laughs> yes. And you just, you don't see it ever getting done. And you know what? That's almost one of those things. It doesn't matter if it has to get done. Even if you do one layout, do you realize that that's more than what most people do? Honestly. And I had a gentleman in a uh, Photoshop tell me that, oh, I'd say probably earlier this year. I was, I went in, had some photo questions about photo storage and organizing photos as far as digital copies and things like that. And we had a nice little chat and I was, he said, okay, well tell me about your process. And I told him what I did and went into all the detail and he just looked at me amazed. He said, wow, he said, you're doing it more than most people. And I just, I was so glad he said that because it has helped me with some of my thinking this year. Be like, oh, I don't have this done. I don't have this done. I don't have this done. And then I say, well, you're doing it. You're doing more than most people. And so honestly, even if you just do one layout a month, that's more than most people. <laughs> honestly, at least we're recording something. Absolutely. Okay. So what's next? What, uh, how do you not get bored when you're working on a big project? Like say a big Disney album, or you went to, uh, you had a family reunion or you have a big album. Maybe it's like celebrating your 50th year or something like that. How or school? Oh, school layouts. Oh, <laughs> oh do we even go there? <laughs> but I'll be talking about that coming up too. I have something planned for that. And that's not a series or anything. We're just going to have a little talk about that. And hopefully I can start working on mine a little bit. My goal was to have uh, school layouts done by the time my little girl graduated high school. Didn't happen. So pretty soon she'll be graduating from college. Still don't have them done. So yeah, life moves too quick. <laughs> so I'll just, oh, well, maybe I'll have them done before I have grandkids. I don't know. Okay. So don't even talk about that. Cause my daughter will say, don't even, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. No. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, she says, don't bank on that mom. Okay. So moving on. Um, what is your favorite project that you have been working on? And I would have to say my favorite project, of course, I enjoy Disney pages, but I would have to say my family's favorite 
in my little family without a doubt is the month and review albums always will be has been for years my daughter has asked me and asked me do not stop doing those albums okay and those are the ones she says she will keep and because you can see the whole year in one album in one sitting you see your whole year it's amazing I mean it's, I think they're very powerful but again that'll be coming up that's <laughs> more discussion later okay and so after Disney pages and then month review I think month review are the most worthwhile for me and then I would have to say story-based pages yes uh, I find them very very enjoyable and my story-based pages and my mentality came from the load event yes it was something that was born from that which load will be coming up in February so I will be giving some details uh, you don't have to be a scrap happy member to do it you can absolutely just buy the uh, the load event for February. I'm so excited for that. And I'm trying to not plan too many things for February because I want to focus on that in February. I want to do a lot of start to finish in February using the load prompts because I'm still working on some from October, but that's the beauty of load. You work on it when you want to. Okay. Have you ever uh, scrapped a project? Meaning have you ever started a project or an album, however you want to call it? And then have you ever just said, Nope, not going to do it. I'm done with it. <laughs> I am not, I'm not going to finish it. I just don't want to do, I've had some mini albums that I started and then I didn't finish, but then I, that was at the time when I got away from mini albums. I don't do them anymore. So for me, have I ever scrapped a project? Meaning, have I ever just said, nah, it's not worth it. You know, just totally scrapped it, threw it in the scrap pile. I don't know if I would say that other than, like I said, my themed albums I don't do those they're little mini themes I don't do those anymore and I have been known to tear them apart and convert them to 12 by 12 pages so uh, I've done that um, and so I don't know if I've ever just said I'm not going to do it I probably have just downscaled it so yeah you know you have these big grandiose ideas of what you think you're going to do and then by the time you're halfway through you're like yeah yeah you get bored with it yeah and so uh, your school my school layout yeah I got to get back one of that okay so what else do I have? I'm just talking. I'm so sorry. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's the timer. Oh, yes. I was just talking, talking, talking. But yes, we were talking about projects. And I did get that whole pile. Now, see, that's more manageable for my brain. <sighs> I can breathe. All of these are in by color now. And I will just get some sandwich baggies and put them in. And then I will separate. Let's see, I have some breads here. And some perler beads. And border stickers. And I need to just keep all this stuff. And since I'm working on this is basically a color coded album. And I, I hopefully I'll show that. Um, I will keep all of this by color coded. Yes. So when I go to work on a page, I know what I'm starting with. So I hope that was not too much rambling, but a little bit of talk about projects. Um, what was your favorite? Have you ever just scrapped one and said, ah, I'm not interested in doing it anymore? How do you keep track of your projects? How do you not get bored from a project? Yes, please list all those below. And also, one more question. What project are you looking forward to in 2019? Yes, please list below because we like to read that. And I do have some subscribers. I do want to say this. I do have some subscribers that can't comment for whatever reason. Some of it's due to privacy and some of it is also due they just, their, uh, their Google Plus is not compatible and so they can't comment, physically can't comment. Some are just private people and so they'll email me privately and say, I, I read these comments and I, I love reading what everybody writes. And so I really want to encourage you that when you're leaving a comment, it's not just for me, it's for a lot of people. And some people are reading your comments and they're not um, being able to reply back, but they're enjoying them. So please keep posting your comments because I know I enjoy them. But so many other people are enjoying them too. The interaction among my subscribers is the best. So that is all I have for this 15 minute mixer. I hope you got something done in this 15 minutes. And I hope I didn't go down too many rabbit trails. Oh, I'm bad for that. So anyways, I'm going to sit here and finish this project. Get it in uh, some type of order so when I want to use it, it's ready to go. And it won't have one great big mess. No. And then also too, I want to wish you and your family a happy new year. And I'm just hoping 2019 will be the best best for all of us absolutely so come back to RTS because you never know what we're gonna do bye